playground, playground when you yeah. talk about what he does with the Paladin and well, what he does with the Strife. We saw some insane moments from him at the playoffs as well. 1v3 against what phase, I believe it was. The aggression from United right out of the gates. They just push up towards that A side. They have the man advantage. Bomb being planted, Lacefield. Solid sniper can hit some shots. He's watching this elevator hallway, just trying to find a pick. Not able to do so. Now just decides to back up. But we know how difficult it is to protect this bomb site from this area. The United have the numbers and they're gonna fly. Pristini takes down his teammate, but does find Lace. They keep the numbers. Three versus two now. And Ruiz starting to push up. Gonna be in a one versus two. Has to buy, what, around 12 seconds. Can he get away with his life somehow? to get to the edge, but he will get chased down. Clay gets the kill. He must have gone outside the map. I wonder, why outside, yeah. I wonder why it took so took long. Was so like, why, is, why is he not trading this? He goes outside the map. He clutches up in the 1v1. Clay starts out 3-0, and he and United get the round. Yeah, I, just, I wasn't looking at the minimap at the time. I'm like, why is he still alive? No, I, saw, I thought the same thing. <laughs> I, I thought Clay was right there. But yeah, as you said, I think he just found the SOG and then got pushed up. Yeah, we'll see oh, it. Watch it here, yeah. Oh, a little bit scary there, where like Simp does challenge without him, but I think he thinks he's closer. No, so he's just reloading. Oh, that okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Just happens to pick up a gun that needs to be reloaded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just was like ready to call the round. That could have been so on. unfortunate if that player just keeps keeps watching the same way. Yeah. He doesn't have fast mags or something. Uh -huh. Oh, if he pulls the trigger there, he might get a hit on his teammate's head as well. So, has to show a little bit of trigger discipline there from Sim. He just spotted Lacefield at the back block for a moment. There they get the plant. Now a five on five retake for Elevate. Hey, you know, it's worried about the flank, right? You have so many players pushed up. Abizi, though, opens it up with the frag. Here comes the push from Elevate, four versus four. Sim just trying to watch the crosses. Pristini doing a great job. Clayster continues. Him and Pristini find the final four kills. I think Clayster's 5-0, and oh, so we'll have to watch if he's able to earn those streaks. But Clay's been getting better and better in Search and Destroy. That was one of the key points when Sim joined this team. He doesn't have to snipe anymore. I had to yeah. learn, kind of learn to play the game differently. Did Sim's, Sim's sniper look a little like uncomfortable there for a moment like he was trying to line up the shot I don't know I mean obviously his teammates cut down everybody in front of him but usually he's just so so quick I think so it could be like flicks. one of those situations where he doesn't want to shoot a teammate like sliding across be. yeah it just looked like usually he looks so natural within his hands like right there I was like all right this doesn't even look like Sims Paladin well I don't think many teams play them on Arsenal S&D <laughs> yeah, that's true and Clay you, you talked about the streaks 150 off hey, Thirty seconds off the clock, and Elevate still looking for that opening. They find one out towards the A site. Everybody bunched up towards la lobby and moving towards the back steps. Arsides should connect with a big frag grenade, but he's just going to go ahead. I thought he was going to back up and toss the frag, but I think he, he heard holds the, trophy the angle go down, right? No, that must have been a team trophy. I mean, it could have been one. Yeah, I might explain it, but. He tries to hold the angle and unfortunately gets double challenged. A nade from the back almost takes out Clayster, but he's barely able to stay up, heal back, and continue to work on those streaks. Step now pushing forward with the strife. The shot on point, two versus two. Thought he was going to get caught, but he goes outside the map, continues to try and line it up. 20 seconds left to go, I believe. Able to find the kill. Now they're lining up in front of Semp. Able to finish one. Gets the other one shot as well. Tagged up. Stim up. Gets away. Repeaks. But Lacefield with the RK7. A little too strong in the pistol on pistol battle. Now, I mean, Sim doesn't miss there. He's able to find Lacefield inside that dark corner, but Lace able to win it. Obviously, uh, when you, you hit your burst, it's probably a very clean burst as well. Oh, yeah, he got a hip he got fire. A hit. Oh, yeah. oh, he got hit down to 12. That, that hip fire bullet hit. Oh, I think Simp, Simp's probably thinking, are you kidding me? Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Almost does it again around that area with the pistol. And this is probably too, I mean, I said Snipe looked a little bit off as he hits there, it, it, it's it's his first game pulling out. I've talked to some, like I saw a formal kind of off in the game. He's like, yeah, it's just the first time I've sniped today. 
Like you don't you don't really get into a sniping groove. It's yeah, you don't get you into don't a like hard warm point. Up, warm yeah. up with it. I imagine over the course of this game you'll see him get uh, get on point. Five v four now for Elevate. Lacefield survives the hit marker from Sim. That cluster should at least get uh, get Arcee's out of that power position. And Lacefield, his RK7 powerful enough to buy him some breathing room at the back steps. Just to be able to hit him and they just hunt down the leaves. So the Saw duo just get aggressive. They haven't planted yet. Sim worried about one player inside event, but it doesn't matter. It's just, you have the man advantage, but th there's been no team push from Elevate. They've, they've just been so split. You would like to see them just group on up like they've been doing. Instead, they just try to take individual gunfights, two versus twos, and this is what happens. Sim spots him. Now just toying with his food, goes vertical, gets the kill, and Arcees does it on the other side of the map. 3-1 now for E United. Yeah, it's funny because I thought I think I said like Lacefield backs him up. As soon as we hop off his POV, I guess they soared yeah, out of it. He just goes. Yep. Because right when we switched off his POV, I thought I thought he was okay. You just never saw Elevate group together. Like then Whalers comes oh, okay. on in. Yeah, both of them can't get smoked. No. There. There's just no trades from from Elevate. That was one hell of a best play. Nice shots from Abizi. And it feels like, you know, we've talked a lot about Lacefield on maps like Hacienda where he's been able to be a playmaker of frequency, just fast mid-map hits, get on flanks, disrupt, but this map's tough to do that, right? Like, you know, it's really hard to be, I guess, as much of a nuisance as you'd like to be if you're Lacefield. But I think all of the really sick S&D performance we've seen from him have been on those two maps. Mm -hmm. Another round note where e United, they hit aggressive towards that B side. Pristini gets in the window, finds the first blood, and there's just no trade. Right? You're so separated. Like, when's the last? We just one by one elevates going down. E United just looks like the better Arsenal search team right now. Sim buys enough time for the rotation to come in. A BZ Pristini finds the final two kills. 4 1 now to E United. It feels like, you know, you're talking about elevate. Like the, the fix seems to be a simple one, but like just, just trade more effectively. Group yeah, up. yeah like <laughs> communication, right? I, I think it's just the little things that we always talk about. Especially in those man advantage scenarios. Like, you, you talk to the best teams in the world, they're just like, yeah, you get man advantage. That's the hard part. And afterwards, you, you group up, you trade. That should be the easy part. Well, Sim's got nothing home over here, so we'll swap over to the other Paladin in the lace field for Elevate. Yeah, a lot of aggression from Elevate towards that A side. Profizi, believe they're up near the tree of United. They're able to find that first blood. There we go. They're trying to use their numbers. Lace Fields there. He finds Placer. They still have the man advantage for three versus two. Yeah, I don't know if he got like a dead slide there or if he just got caught, but I thought Clay was going to be able to slide away and keep it a three versus three. But as United gets another kill, it'll be a two versus two. Simp and Abizi up against MREs and Whalers. Can Simp hit a big snipe? Oh, he just spotted him too. So a lot of time to work with. Are up. They've all backed up the back steps. It's going to be a frag grenade coming over the top. It is. Abizi's going to get caught by that now. One versus two for Simp. Just saw the ankle of one holding the edge for the push, but here they come on the left side. Nice shots at range. Gets the jump. If he slides instead of jumps there, maybe. 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 That, that, uh... Yeah, especially the way, I mean, Emma Reese has a, an ICR in this scenario, right? Like, there is a, a very good chance where, <laughs> yeah, he, he just, you know, sort of goes under it. That looks like Cod of Old, where you just see your instincts to jump. Black Ops 4, slide, slide, slide. Rafizi, though, with some nice early aggression, able to find two kills, leads to the third. Got a little bit scary there, but Elevate able to stay alive in this game. Pressure. 
working its way towards B. I think it's Arsides who's gotten a bit aggressive just to get eyes on the push. He'll likely back it up immediately. I think he's got a he's grenade in his hand. Yep. Tosses it. Not gonna I, get a hit, I think though. he messed it up. I think he was trying to bank it off the wall and uh -oh, it doesn't uh -oh, happen. Oh, that's going to hit him right in the back. Uh, BZ, is, is that back-to-back -back rounds where he's been caught by a frag grenade? Yeah. Poor, poor Abizi. <laughs> Just getting ripped off the map. Three versus four now for United, but the, the utility used from Elevate, fantastic in these last couple of rounds to bring him back into the game. They're going to wrap this all the way out towards they're A. They're trailing, though. E -United look how on the fast. Hunt. Yeah, look how fast. He, I don't know if they're going to expect this with e United there. There's going to be a 1v1, and there's nobody there to trade. So the three versus three now. I thought Whalers turned around just in time, but he still got caught. And ring around the rosy we go. They're just going to sprint right through and go back to B as you're getting a great view of uh, the entire map of Arsenal. It's a beautiful map. Yeah, they just round like a 400-meter dash. <laughs> it's looking more like a track and field event than a search and destroy round. <laughs> But now 3v3, 35 seconds on the clock. Clayster on one side. Simp and Arce is working the pinch. Yeah, Clay's got to be careful here not to get isolated on, but he finds the kill. Here comes the players pushing from elevator, but he finds both. Don't tell me he's going to find the third. He does for Profizi with the strafe. But again, you're in a man advantage scenario for Elevate, and they lose the round once again. And Clay's in a spot, like, I think he just didn't have Deddy, so he's just, like, walking up really yep. slowly to get into that spot. The fact he comes away with two, absolutely unreal. One more round needed for United now tie things up at 1-1. And the best play, surely enough, it's Clayster. Nice patience, hits his shots. I think Movement. because he goes low there, Lacefield doesn't expect that. I think he expects him still to be high. But he goes on that staircase, and Lacefield yeah, just gets caught with a pistol out. Yeah, and it's like the timing there could have been worse for him, probably. Lacefield doesn't see him at all because Clay just gets low. <laughs> this time, they're going to give Simp a shot, I think. But he, I think he does, does shoot. We just got off of it. Lacefield goes for a jump snipe, and then you see right after the jump snipe, United just flies on out. And Clay just peppers him, backs him up. And Look how fast they up. were. And the Prestige finds the first blood, so man advantage for United to tie this series up one to one. They look incredibly decisive in search and destroy. That's what we always talk about, right? Just how quick you can, can react. One player still on the bomb. Lacefield does not expect that. It's all down to one player, Whalers. One versus five. I just don't think there's enough time, even if he was able to clutch this. Oh, hits a hip fire shot, but a BZ with the saw gets the kill. United. They dropped the map one, but they look clinical in the search and destroy.